Okay, hey everybody, you guys, I am starting this video for the second time. And so I'm just gonna start where I left off. I already dropped the cards, they were pre-shuffled, and we have a spread for you. This is the Scorpio February um, mid-month to March reading for all my Scorpio sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? And so I've already laid out these cards, and so I'm just going to get right into it, and I'm going to tell you what we have going on, okay? So we have the Knight of Pentacles that is clarified by the Five of Swords, okay? So like I just said, Scorpio, this is something, this is a vision. This is a way that you believe that your life should be, that your life should be structured, okay? So this is a vision that you have had for your life for a very long time. So coming into the month of February, this is you continuously showing up for whatever it is, that thing that you just see you always being a part of, always being connected to, always being in alignment with, you know, this is something that you see is sustainable for a long time. So this could be in your career. This could be in a relationship for some of you. This could be in a home that you're buying. Um, so it, it seems that coming into the month of February, you really are focused on those long-term investments. Things that you have been building upon for years and years and years. And I feel like you are having a bit of a reflection period on you know, where do things go now? Like, how do I see this moving forward? How do I see this transforming to the next level? And do I see it transforming to the next level? Okay, so you're in a bit of a reflection period. Um, but also, whatever this thing is, you've been fighting for it for some time, and you are kind of willing to do anything necessary to keep this structure in place in your life okay so after that we have the three of swords which is clarified by the magician card okay so this tells me that there is some heartbreak energy there is maybe some betrayal um because it's swords it has something to do with the truth so a truth may be coming out that you maybe weren't expecting um, that affects what exactly you had planned to manifest for your life. Um, so maybe there is a truth that is coming to you in the month of February where maybe you're going to, I don't know, it just makes me feel like maybe you're realizing like, okay, this is not what I thought it was going to be. Or you're finding out something that just, you know, it may be a little bit heartbreaking, a little bit shocking, a little bit surprising. Um you know, I don't see this being something so major, but it can, it can. And this has something to do with your creativity as well. So whatever it is that you're creating or manifesting for your life, there's something about it that is not lining up quite as how you thought it would. And you're coming to that realization in February, and you're realizing, okay, so this is probably not going to line up how I've always pictured it. And so now what do I do? And so... After that, you have the Four of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords, okay? And so the Four of Swords is about resting, waiting, contemplation, thinking about things, and meditation. It's also a card about deep healing and introspection. Um, it's clarified by the Seven of Swords, which lets me know, um, I feel like this is for some of you, Scorpios, this is about you healing some really deep wounds concerning like self-betrayal. Um, I feel like you are really contemplating on the ways that you have betrayed yourself in the past or maybe you have lied to yourself or worn a false mask or been pretending to be something that you're not or, you know, just suppressing your feelings and what you really want for the sake of others. Um, so I feel like you're going through a healing or a contemplation process in the month of February where you're really reflecting on, you know, like, where have I really and truly previously had my values? Like, why have I been in certain situations that I have been? And so you're really contemplating that because you want to put the proper boundaries up that ultimately protect you from having to em embrace and, um, you know, reconcile with these same lessons again and again and again. Um, I feel like this time, Scorpio, you really feel like 
I've learned from this. I've learned from this. And now I just need to contemplate on which boundaries are the right ones for me. Which ones do I put in place that give me the right protection, you know, um, so that I can have an authentic experience with everyone around me or with this situation so that, you know, it's reciprocal energy that I'm getting everything that I need from it, but also I can provide value in you know, whatever way is reciprocal to this. And so I feel like that is what maybe you're trying to find your space or readjust the way that you are in a situation, you know, or change or adjust your identity to be more authentic to you and not so much to people please others. Because I don't know, I just feel an energy of in the past you were doing things to please others or making sure that you don't ruffle feathers or that people are not upset about you for a certain way that you are but also people need to not take that personal because that also has nothing to do with them and so however you are for you is right for you and it's not your job to minimize or maximize yourself to a point that is uncomfortable for you unhealthy to where just the math ain't mathing. That's all I'm seeing. Okay. So we have the Hermit card clarified by the Nine of Cups. And I feel like you're coming to a point in the month of February where you're realizing like I'm actually very content with being alone. I'm content with being by myself. So this means that Scorpio, you're realizing that, you know, you can fill your time and your space up with very, very purposeful and intentional things at all times that really feed your soul, that rejuvenate you, that make you feel safe, make you feel secure, and make you feel comfortable, and make you feel strong, and best of all, powerful. And so you're coming to that realization, like, really, I have all the power. Like, I can create whatever I want. I'm content with being alone like if I have to be alone everything will be fine I know that I will always land on my feet I know that I will always be okay and so you know that doesn't worry me I can let go of everything because all I need is me and my body and that's it and so it's kind of one of those coming to you know moments that you're having this month in february okay we have the four of cups clarified by the two of wands and so whatever crossroads that you were previously at before um scorpio you're you're definitely you know at least in this month you're deciding like honestly this is not what i want this is not for me it doesn't really match me it doesn't really align with me you know and you know, you're not rude or anything about it, but you're just like, ah, no, thank you. Like, I'm good. I'm okay. Like, I know who I am. I know what I want. I know what I need. And also, I'm not willing to settle, you know, and I'm not afraid to be authentically me and let people go in the process or let jobs go in the process or let friendships go in the process if they are not matching, Okay, or let relationships, you know, family relationships, anything, if they are not matching, then I can let it go. And I know that I will fall on my feet and I will still be okay. Yes. And so coming into the month of March, you have the nine of pentacles clarified by the high priestess. And so this is just about you know, feeling very luxurious, feeling very comfortable, feeling very abundant. Um, so you might have some extra money, you may have gotten a bonus or a raise or a pay raise from your job. And so this is why you have this inner stillness and this inner comfort because you're not worried. You see that things continuously work out for you and you keep being blessed every time you take a leap into the unknown. You see that you get rewarded every time that you do that. And so that's what is working that muscle and building your confidence and making you want to take leaps more often. It makes you more excited about what's on the other side, what other rewards could possibly be waiting for you. Prosperity, 
I didn't know how these car cards were going to match when I first pulled them. I was like, what is this? But prosperity, divine guidance, aka trust your intuition. The nine of pentacles with the high priestess is about trusting your intuition and like feeling very abundant and confident in the way that you trust your intuition. Fertility and grace. Give yourself grace because you are going through a process and inspiration 